Every once in a while, Ford likes to try new things. Welcome back to Ford Eats Kanji. Yeehaw! Do you know what an Idaho spud is? Well, Idaho is a western state bordered by Washington, Oregon, Nevada, Utah, Wyoming, and Montana. In fact, the most tippy top of Idaho touches Canada too. And well, the spud? That's a nickname commonly given to the potato. It's a starchy tuber plant that is uh, used and cooked as vegetables. And so the Idaho spud, well, they're known for their potatoes. That's not what I was talking about, but thank you. <coughs> Nerd. <coughs> Why, today I'm going to try a candy bar. That as far as my memory goes, I haven't actually tried before. Although I have seen it. But first, let's go back. In 1901, a candy maker named T.O. Smith began making and selling chocolates out of his home in Idaho. According to Wikipedia, his name is Thomas, but I can neither confirm nor deny that. The website, idahospud.com, just says T.O. Smith. Well, T.O. Smith began selling his chocolates door to door. Then, in 1909, Mr. Smith and another family built a factory out in Boise to sell their chocolates. Their sales began to rise. Now enter the Idaho Spud. The Idaho Spud was a chocolate candy bar first developed in 1918. This chocolate bar soon became the Idaho Candy Company's best-selling bar. So, <laughs> okay, enough of that voice. Today, this candy bar is sold in 19 states across America. And apparently, it is only 99 cents at my local grocery store. Thank you, Associated Foods. So let's get to it, because my mouth is watering. Here it is, the Idaho Spud. According to the packaging, this contains some allergens, egg, soy, and milk products. And online it said something about sulfite. So if you are one of the one in about 10 that the FDA says is sulfite allergenic, <laughs> has sulfite sensitivities, I'm sorry, this one's not for you. It also has coconut in it, which I'll be honest with you is not my favorite thing, but I was looking online at pictures and the inside of this thing looks like it has like ice cream stuff in it. <laughs> so I'm all in. So it's covered in coconut, but not a lot of coconut. They're finely shredded. Uh huh. You see that? It's like a peep. It's like a marshmallow. We're going to see how it tastes. It's kind of crummy. <laughs> I don't mean that as the taste. Like it'll fall apart. The, the, the coconut will fall off. So uh, use a napkin or eat outside. <laughs> Apparently Ford eats outside and doesn't want to use a napkin. Um, as far as originality goes, I give it a five stars. That's full points for being unique. This one gets rated on the coconut scale because it has that. Ford's not a fan of coconut, but he'll rate it, oh, a four out of five stars. Because even though it's got coconut in it, it's not too overwhelming, so I can still enjoy it. On the chocolate scale, it rates probably like a three stars. It's not super chocolatey, which is one of my favorite things. So it's about average there. The marshmallow's pretty good. We can give that like, it's like a four. Actually, I'm craving that right now. That is a very unique, uh, five star marshmallow so if i did my math right that's like a 17 star 17 out of 20 star chocolate there you go the next time you need something to smile about maybe you should treat yourself to an at home spud thank you for watching guys please share your thoughts and comments down below i'm always interested in new ideas and what to try next and if you don't want to miss out on a jolly old time click that subscribe button and the little bell notification next to it see you guys later